this. Okay, well, we need to make a provision. I mean, I don't know what, um, I mean, I guess. Just I take guess what, you just take what, it, right? just take what you had on the old one and just put it on the, on the last page underneath the template. Well, so, that, I mean, so that you have a signature and, and then our clerk has a signature. I mean, he can sign it right there where it says signatures if, if you want to just do it and get it out of the way. That's fine. Okay. There you go. Oh. You'll sign it. Oh. Okay. I have this one here. No, that's a, you can have it. But it's not stapled. No. Oh. So, okay. it's, um, yeah, I just left it on stapled. So okay. I okay. I guess just right there. Thank you. Toby, did we get anything from um, Leslie from the town accountant? Um, nothing new. This nothing is new. the latest one okay. that I have. Which is? From 9.30. 9.30? No, it's only 5 after 7. <laughs> okay. All right. What I'm interested in is to see how much money there is in the account. Okay, there's still a substantial amount. That's for the engineering. Okay. Okay. That's for the engineering. Okay. For the old field project. Mm -hmm. That's what's left in there. Jolly. Jolly. That's what's left in the account for, in, for in the engineering for old yeah. Okay. That's what you've got. That's what we Last have right now. That 12,000. We have not received, oh, let's just go in the order. Okay, building inspector, good evening. Come on up. I'm right up here. The hot seat. <laughs> okay, I invited the building inspector for a um, monthly update on 92 North Main Street construction and the lottery if he has any information on that. So go ahead and give us your spiel. Please. Okay. I went to the 92 North Main Street today for the latest and greatest update. Um, they are moving at an incredible pace. The sidewalks are in. The grass has been planted. The gazebo in the rear is, is complete. The street lights are in. The shrubs are in. The trees are in. The final paving is done. They have a model apartment that's open daily. So if anybody wants to go take a look, uh, everybody. I, I brought my wife in on a weekend and took a tour of the model apartment too. Well, I've been there before anyway. It's a two bedroom, two bath. Yes. Right. Um, so they're doing, you know, really well. The so playgrounds are not done yet. That's, I guess, going to be one of the later things that I was looking for those. Um, in C unit, a uh, C building, they have 10 units rented. B building, they're, they're doing the finishing touches, punch list, final details, but it's essentially done. A building, um, that should be completed within, I would say, a month. So it's, by the 1st of December or middle of December? Yeah, about a month from now, okay. it should be done. Because right. um, the fire chief and I went out there, we did the smoke detector, fire alarm inspections last week and he went up today as my fire chief did and did some final smoke detector tests up there and they have two of the three bedroom units reserved in the A building. There are people that want to move in. Is they, that is that because is that have to do with the affordables and the local preference or is it just? No, because they want people that want three bedroom units. Okay, so it's it's just the main, the ones that are market valued. I believe yes. Okay. How many total units there? Eighty in the whole in the whole complex in the th between the three buildings between A, B, and C. Right. A the A building only has um, eight three bedrooms. No, six three bedrooms and eight two bedrooms. Or is it eight three bedrooms and six two bedrooms? I, I don't remember. I know there's only 14, 14 uh, units. units. And then unit B is all two bedrooms. And C is all two bedrooms. No, two bedrooms oh, and one. There's a couple one bedrooms. Yeah. That's right. Okay. When they, the, the shrubs, 
have they, weren't they going to put some shrubs up between, what is that, still water? Yes. Those are going to be taller trees. Those are not up there. Not in yet. I'm just talking about little shrubs okay. and little trees. Um, I know that was a big uh, talk from the meetings. Yeah. I um, actually had a meeting, uh, a gentleman that lives on Stillwater was in uh, a couple weeks ago, and we were discussing because he had some trash that had blown across. Because the dumpster is there, and there's no fence around the other, which will be installed at a later date. And I spoke to Mr. Ali, and they had somebody go and just police the area and take care of anything that was over there. Because where he is, there's no fence. Right. What is the rent going to be? It's, it's it varies. Different. Yeah, it varies on income. Ballpark. I, I um, thought I saw something uh, like. 50. I would say like a one bedroom is like thirteen, fourteen hundred. Yeah. Up to two. Yeah. The three bedroom, the three bedroom, two baths. The market value is anywhere from uh, twenty two thousand to twenty two forty. I think it is. So. Are they all rental? Yeah, the the whole complex is all rentals. It's a forty B project. Okay. As far as the lottery goes, they did one drop one round with the lottery. I'm not sure where that stands. Okay. At this point. Okay. On those on the C building, the ten units that are rented. Do you know what the breakdown is on that? I don't. Okay. All right. The sold is 10 units. Okay. So those 10 units people did move in or are yeah. they waiting? No, they moved in. Moved in. Oh, so people are already living in C? Yes. What about B? No, nobody's living in yet. And they haven't rented any? No, no. I think B was still on the punch list. Yeah, they're still working. Oh, okay. So it's still, list. okay. Yeah. And the details. Okay. But it's. So those 10, 10 uh, rented apartments are the regular rate? I'm not uh, sure which, if the regular rate are uh, uh, affordable, we don't know. I don't know. Anyway, no, this, that doesn't matter. For. Well, in a way it, it does because it, we need to know like how many of them are the affordable ones and how many were local properties. I agree, but uh, that we need to get it from the builder. Right, the from builder, Peabody. Builder, yeah, right, builder from Peabody. Now, as far as the trees, I thought all that was going to be done by the 31st of October. And I, I did too. I thought that, that, that was the arrangement that we made. And I know that, that some of them were planted, but not all of them were planted. So the ones that were on the ground are now planted? Yes. Okay. And now, and what about the shrubbery? When is he going to plant those? Well, I mean, shrubbery. it seems like it's... Most of the shrubs are planted now. Well, the, the, the large stuff, because that was what we had lots of right. complaints about. And I know... Yeah. I thought he said it was all going to be done in September, October because of better planting season. Right. Sure. So that's kind of what my question is. Oh, I, I know that the big question from most of the town residents were that the seeing the building was something that's covering. So um, was there any, there was not, no date on that yet? Other the larger? Uh, I'm not no. sure. Okay. Can I suggest something? Maybe sure. Toby could send an email. Yeah. Asking directly from the yeah. yeah. Can we send an email to uh, Mr. Ali and ask him what the for, for the larger right trees, the blocking from Stillwater to the complex right, and al and also Toby, and also you know in general update on the building A, building B, building C. Let's hear from him what he says. Well, what is it that I want to ask him? Just um, so won't just updates. Updates on all the buildings, mm -hmm. right? General, yes, just general, general, updates. general update. Say, uh, Mr. Bentley says, you know, ten rented. He may come up with say, oh, I t I rented twenty. So let's hear from him directly. That's what. Ho yeah. Hope you know uh, the chairman agrees with that. Yeah. Either that, or we can always we can always send um, an email to um, Peabody Properties because they're the ones. I don't that know. Who, yeah. yeah. And I don't know Andrea, right? Adriana Guzzo. She's the marketing director. It could be quite fresh today. I went and talked to the rental company. Okay. People. All right. At the okay. Department. okay. All right. So that's now C obviously C has an occupancy. Yes. Certificate of occupancy. Does B have one? Yeah, I believe it's a temporary. A temporary one. Okay. How soon will he be ready to you know to anytime. Anytime. Okay. And then A is that's going to be a month from now, and then we're going to make sure that the as but the final as belt is built is yeah. done, and it goes through ComCom, it comes through us, 
and everybody signs off on it, and then he'll get his certificate of occupancy. You'll okay. get a temporary amendment. The final will be upon all the approvals. From okay. All, all the right. other departments. And okay, that's that sounds good. Anybody have any? Is there anything else that you need to talk to us about? I was going to take you an update on your neighbor, if you would like. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, and if anybody doesn't know what he's talking about, it's it's the old motel. Ninety Sterling Street. Yeah. They have all eight of the foundations are in. Uh, they're working on the yard now, getting that all graded. Uh, they want to get paving in. They're hoping to get paving in before the weather turns for the winter. They've got one building, which is two units, completely outside done. The siding was finished this evening when I went out there. They were just finishing up the siding and the trim now. Uh, they're going to be starting the decks on the back of them, on the back of that one, right. uh, first part next week. So I would say as soon as they, you know, the building will be done, the yards and you know, the landscaping won't be ready for people to move in. But the, the first building, how many units are going in there? 16. Eight, 16. eight duplex units. Eight. So 60, total of 16 units. How big is the commercial? 1.458 is. Wow. And the only reason I know that is because I live directly next door to it. So this means, you know, they bring in the uh, modular parts and then they assemble it there. So how many days it takes for a one building? Do you have any idea? They brought the buildings in. Or they just brought the whole thing and put it in? It comes in four pieces. Four pieces, okay. And it, within a day, they'll have they all four pieces set. Because I went out, they were delivered on a Thursday. Uh -huh. I went out on a Friday just to view the, the four pieces. pods to make sure there's no damage in shipping. And then on Monday, they were set. Okay. So they, it won't take much time to so build just, all, all the 16. So when, what, what is his timetable as far as getting all the buildings up? I mean, they're going to be delivered one building at a, one building at a time. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Can I go back and ask one other question? Sure. Uh, go ahead. Ninety-two North. Mm -hmm. In the comprehensive permit, and also his all those uh, maps. Uh, did he has anything about the sign outside? Yes. He has a sign? That was approved. Um, I found that in the original agreement. Uh-huh. He actually was approved a larger sign than what he put up. Okay. That was one of the questions you know, people are asking, whether uh, it's a single family residence over there, how we can put a sign. It was, it was in a special permit. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, I know this is, but because the building inspector is here and this has to do with, with him, because all this information, there's an email from about 62 Central Street about the zoning confusion, okay? Um, I, I, what's happened now is, is that the chairs of the ZBA, the uh, Planning Board, Conservation Commission, Board of Health, Building Inspector, and the Selectmen are now in a, um, a meeting, in land use meeting, to discuss how we can communicate better and keep people informed. Um, so basically, what one of the things that we determined when we met two weeks ago was that um, there would be a general uh, email sent out to all those boards with the agendas. So in other words, we'll get all the agendas for those boards, they'll get ours, so that they can see what's going on with our board in case there's something, you know, that they may want to attend or they may have questions about. And I brought up the fact is, is that as far as the ZBA, when it comes to the planning board, you know, comes to our petitions, when we have petitions, everything has to go out to the planning board, the conservation, and the board of health because they have to reply to us because it's part of the, part of the zoning bylaw. Right. So, um, um, so I think what we're gonna do is, on this thing with 62 uh, Central Street, um, I'm just gonna hold off on that for right now. 
Um, there's a lot of other information going on with this. If I can ask, what the issue is that Well, what happened was is the, the people bought um, bought this house, bought the house. Is the house next door to the strip hall? That's yes. Dark well, it's area. two doors down. Okay. 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 Two doors down. Yeah, because there's a business. What is it? What's the guy's name? Um, oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot there. Yeah. Giz Gizzies or something. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so they bought this with, and they were told that it was zoned business, and basically it's not. To make a nutshell, it's not zoned business. It's zoned general residence, and they want to put a business. So there's a lot of confusion about what's going on. You know why they were told that in 2010. And and they're they're trying, are they trying to run a business? Or do they want to make change the property to put a business. No, they they want. That's the whole purpose of buying the property was that they intended to put a business on the property. Huh. Yeah, it's the, I guess an email says it was what 2015. Yeah, that's it showed when it, that it was uh, zoned as business. Yep. But it, but see the thing is business. the thing is is that there's two different aspects that you can look at. You can look at the GIS, which is what the town uses, and then you have what the uh, the, ass uh, the assessor's card, property card, and on their property card, it shows that this property is, is business. Oh, okay. Okay, but it's really not. Oh, okay. okay. It's basically, because so if you go to us, change. if you go to the GIS and you look at the color code, yeah. Okay, it tells you different code. It'll tell you on the left hand, the left hand side, Bentley, where the color codes. They tell you what the color yes. codes are. On the left hand side, it'll tell you, you know, the color show you the color and it'll tell you what the designation is. Okay, the list strip mall is business. The other guy is business, and then this one here is resi uh, general residence. residential district. Yeah, residential. So are they looking to make changes to the property to make it a business or that? Because they they have it. it looks like they bought it to be a business. Right. Okay. So right. they bought it. They made a lot of improvements. I live around the corner. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so now they did. They did the house. The yeah. house is all done. Now they want to take the uh, the, the uh, garage, the garage. Yeah. and fix that up. But when they came to the building inspector to get a, a building permit, okay. that's when they found out that it's it's not a business. Okay. It's not a business zoned. It's zoned general residence. So there's been, and we don't know what what the outcome. It's still we're trying to still work out everything. Just out of curiosity, so across the street where they've got the the, uh, the photo studio. Oh yeah. Is that still a business? I have no idea. Okay. To be honest with you, <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Curious. Yep. Okay, anything else for the building inspector while he's here? Yeah. Any quims, quas, questions? No? All right, Bentley, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, thank you. Like I said, you know, any, if um, any problems come up, you know, let us know. Um, and we'll have um, VHB go out there. You know, like I said, they went out there for the, um, for the paving. They sent us, I asked Toby to send Wayne an email. He sent us an email. You know, with the report and stuff, so I'm sure that we'll be. You need this uh, for the. You need oh, this yeah. issue. Oh yeah. One other thing, I guess. Oh yeah. This thing about uh, Dr. Tajian's property and the zoning infractions. Oh, is that about the letter that you sent to him about um, his f his fines? Yeah. Um, Have you heard anything about that? I'm not interested. Yeah, you were CC'd on. You were. You didn't send Sherry's. Uh, the letter that you sent out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Have you heard anything from her? Yes. Um, yeah. the, the good doctor was in when he got the notice. Yeah. And he had all this documentation where this is a, a federal lawsuit against the, the town, the governor. The town, the governor. Let's catch up and on the oh, road. Oh, the governor's involved. involved in this now, huh? Wow. And I'm just kidding about the catch up. So anyways, he, he's, he's got a, a federal lawsuit against everybody, and he said, this won't apply. And so I just told him I respectfully disagree, and I'll be sending this to Worcester, to the court, because he never paid the fine. And if he wants to fight Worcester court, he can bring his federal documentation to them and, and prove his case to them, because it's not to me to judge if this is, you know, not in effect because of this federal case. So, so in other words, even though, because I know that his house was, was up for auction, 
and the auction was canceled because he has filed a lawsuit. Okay, so the bank can't do nothing about that until the lawsuit is is resolved. Does that say? Does that also apply to to the town as far as this the fees? Does that now cease because he has a lawsuit? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. So I'm just going to send it to Worcester and let them sort it out. All right. It's okay. housing court. Yeah. No, I, I understand that. I understand that. I just I'm just curious. The fact is, like you said, you know, that the auction stopped because of the lawsuit, and I'm I'm just wondering if that's going to be the case with this here now. Maybe they will find that when the house gets property gets sold, they get this money will go to them. Okay. Yeah, right. But uh, do you? Do, no, but I'm not clear on that. But why we are sending it to the Wooster courts rather than uh, talking to our town attorneys? Because the fine is for zoning violations. I to and totally agree. I, I understand, fully understand. The way I understand is, as the chairman said, the auction was on, it was stopped because. Uh, Mr. Dr. T filed a complaint or filed a case against uh, whoever. The auction was stopped. Mm -hmm. So, will that the same thing will apply for the fine also? That's my. I don't know. I'm not a liar, to like you. I but to maybe, on, maybe the suggestion would be is before you send it off to the Worcester Land Court. Okay, I would maybe I I would just suggest that maybe you should touch base with the town administrator and maybe she can touch base with uh, KP Law to find out if, you know, I mean, there's no sense sending it off there if nothing, you know, if this is, it's on It's not, the, if it is not their matter, they are right. not going to- Because they may, come, you know, like you said, they may come back and say, hey, we can't do nothing because he has a lawsuit, but, you know, let's find out. I mean, does that make- Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, it's, okay. instead of, uh, you know, instead of giving a fine, instead of doing all this, a uh, lot of work for you, that have worked for the Wooster, maybe you know. Let's uh, because if because what might happen also too is is that they may go back and say, okay, well, if he, from the date that he filed the lawsuit, that's when the fines may have may may stop. I don't know for sure, but that's something that I would think that KP Law should be able to, you know, in, you know, help you out with. So maybe Chris could add on something if you. Law no, experience. No, yeah, I think going to a uh, town no. administrator and just asking that question no. is no free law advice. Makes sense. It's it's <laughs> not it's not in my wheelhouse, unfortunately. Well, just keep us informed of what's you know what ha what happens. You know, I mean, not that we have any direct, you know, we can do anything about it unless he files something with us against you. But you know, this all started back in February. You know, we tried to be. You know, try to do something. You know, decent. Try to help him out, and he has not responded to that. It's you know, basically, it's the balls in your court. This is your show. You run it how you see fit. You know, according to the laws and stuff. All we're asking is just just to keep us abreast of you know what happens. You know what's going on, and if there's anything that we can help you with, we'll be more than happy to help you with. Okay. To to add on to that, you know, so. I know that you did issue a via fine, but I do understand some of the residents might want to know whether we issued a fine if those fines are collected, or whether the you know is this issue even the issuing the fine is uh, legal, you know. So we, when the call comes to your office, you know you can say, hey, this is what happened. I can issue a fine. I cannot issue a fine. This is the status is like that. So for you also, it's very, if you get the clear answer, can we issue a fine we can. during these situations? I just got, yeah, I'm just not sure about because of Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, right. just to check in with the, our town admin, yep. as well as, you know, whatever he suggests, that's fine with me. Like you guys said, you know, if somebody calls you, you know, at least you'll have an answer saying, okay, well, he filed a lawsuit, you know, according to town council, you know, whatever they, whatever information that they provide to you. You know, this is what we can do, this is what we can't do. Okay? So that will really good look on you uh, in the yeah, building out like You would probably give the town a ring. Okay, and, and then of course our friend Bernie, Bernie Dow. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I think Raj making a point just for that's for that. Yes. Right, because yeah. he had made a couple of calls in his email, so I think probably for someone to give him, in, he's probably going to call again. But he needs to get a hold of right, town council and, and find out finish. from town council so that when, if somebody does call, he'll have the correct information and not just say, "I'm not right. sure." You know, you can say, "This is what what okay. we were told yeah. to do." Okay. Anything else? No. Raj, anything no, else? nothing else. No? Nope. Thank you so much. Nothing. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Thank you. thanks. We'll see you next month. Like I said, if anything comes up, sure. let us know. You know, if there's anything that you need from us that we can help you with, we're more than happy to help you. Okay. okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Have a, nice, yep. have a nice long weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Indeed. <laughs> okay, the next thing on the agenda is the tentative calendar for 2018. ZBA meetings okay I know I asked Toby to, to do this we received an email from Nancy Lucier because um, she needs to know um, about what's going on you know with our meeting so that she can set up the room schedules you know also to everybody else knows what's going on too for next year okay so I asked Toby to make this out send it out to everybody before the meeting so that you can look it over and then when we come to the meeting tonight we can discuss does anybody have any issues with any of these dates? Not me. It's all uh, the third Thursday. Third Thursday, Thursday of the month. Every month and nothing's changed. At, at right? seven o'clock. It should be fine. With the work. Okay. You know, and so and what will happen is is if because we're on a limited budget now, as far as you know, taking care of business, if we get to the point where we get close to one of these, and the date. And we don't have a public hearing and we don't have any essential you know important business going on then we can cancel you know cancel the meeting and like we did last month we canceled yeah. it because there was nothing going on so basically that's it. so nobody has any problems no. okay all right so toby if you can make sure that tomorrow or whenever get a copy to to nancy the town clerk karen parade and um the uh uh, the TV station. Okay? okay. All right. Okay. Takes care of that. Okay. Now, the important stuff. Not that, every, not that everything we have is important. All right. Um, we did receive um, from the town clerk the um, that there were no appeals on our last two petitions. The one for. Um, uh, Woodland Street and the one for Mr. Dumas for the home occupation mm -hmm. okay now the problem the, the thing with the home occupation is is that he needs to do a declaration of covenant now what I'm what I'm having a, an issue with is that when this bylaw or this, this zoning bylaw was put into effect a declaration of covenant you know, it's mentioned through the bylaw, but one was never created, which, you know, doesn't seem, seems kind of strange to me. Anyways, so I reached out to the town administrator. She reached out to, to uh, town council, and I believe that Toby forwarded to you um, what the town council, and we've had conversation on this. Um, the vice chair and I had a conversation on this. We did receive... Town Council did send us a copy. Oh, oh, here it is, from Sherborne. Okay. So, what we're going to do is um, providing that he's willing to do this is have Mr. Olson review this and see if you know what kind of changes. Do you have a copy of it? Yeah. Okay. The one from Sherborne? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. And just kind of apply it to our bylaws. Okay? Yep. And as soon as you can get that done, we'll I can do that. Email it to everybody on the board. They'll get back to Toby. You know, looks good, fine. And then Toby, once that is done, then you can contact Mr. Dumas and he'll come in and you'll have to give him a copy of the decision. The um there's no, there's been no appeal and a copy of this and they'll have to go to the registry of deeds and get it stamped and bring it back to us. Okay. 
Sound good? Yep. Okay. Anybody have any Quick questions? Question. I don't see a... What? I do not see a uh, notary, notary public signature here. This needs to be notarized. If okay. I remember correctly from the... You can... I'll look into it. Yeah, you can use the one that we use yeah. for... Um, for um, accessory, accessory apartments and maybe incorporate that yeah. into so it. So it okay. has to be notarized. Okay. Do we have this document in electronic format? Electronic. No. Okay. Um, wait, when she sent the email, right, it was, it was an attachment, correct? Um, it was a board document. Okay. Didn't I PDF? I, I think I had, yeah. Uh, it, was a P, I was a, it was a PDF, right? No, a board. Yeah. It's a board form, so it can be altered. Okay, so can yeah, you... Yeah, I don't know if I have that or not. I, I, I might have missed it, but so could, can you, could you email, send that to me? Email that to him? Perfect. Okay, good. All right. It and, a lot easier. you know, use your judgment. Yep. You know, whatever you feel needs to be done in there. Um, okay. So, and then just get it to us, and then uh, we can get it to Mr. Dumas. Fair enough. So that he can do what he needs to do. Okay. All right, so that takes care of that. Okay, the like I said, we had the land use meeting. I know that there was something here. What did I do with it? Can I see the pile with the central street stuff? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, let me see here. Yes, yeah, land use meeting. Okay, um, we did. There was an email sent out to the following boards and to the and town administrator, and it came from Diane Peterson, who's the assessor. And I don't know if anybody had a chance to to look at this. Um, she will also be part of our this group that's going to meet because we need to we need to make sure that everybody's using the same information. Yeah. You know, that it's not saying one thing on one, not saying another thing on the yep. other. You know, planning board is really, you know, getting down, saying that, you know, people need to be using the GIS because that's the proper. Yeah, it's, the, it's really the, the town zoning map right. that, that controls all that. That's, right. it's, and so it's some, on some level, there's going to have to be an analysis of each of the lots and are they consistent in the town's assessor's records with what's on the town zoning map? Right, exactly, exactly. And, the, and the, she has assured me that whatever corrections need to be made, you know, provide, you know, as long as we provide the information to the assessor's office, they'll make sure that the yep. corrections yep. Get, get, Good. get done. So I'm happy to hear that's moving forward. Yep, yep. Okay, Toby, any miscellaneous mail and paperwork that we need to sign? I don't know why they sent it to us, but... I'm going to send it to Phil. The watershed. I'm send it to Phil. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, Protecting our watershed. Oh, sorry, this I have to, this I just have to file. And then this was just information on area businesses that are renewing their licenses. And um, I guess they wanted to know if we have anybody that's not in compliance with us, but I didn't think I needed to, to make that for everybody, but oh, this, is the, this, is the, this is the letter that, um, that uh, they sent out. Usually it's more planning board kind of issues, right? With yeah. site plans and yeah. But I guess SPR process. Yeah. All planning board. I mean, do we are we aware of any special permits or variances that have been granted by this board recently, where there are also businesses? that well, are seeking we, licenses before the... Well, Cumberland the Farms, they had to come before us yep. to get... Is there anything outstanding with not regard to... Not that I know of. Not that I, I, I wouldn't know. think so, right? Yeah. It was the operating hours, it was the... The gas station. Yeah. And then the not playing the um, 
you know how you go to these gas stations the music and, and the, the music audio. and all that you know and they had to get a they had to get a special permit for yeah. us to operate between two in the morning and six in the morning yeah so i mean i wasn't on the board at that time but i don't know that there's anything outstanding right not that i know of unless they got the problem with the sign you know yeah, i think that's raj have you been up to 92 north main street no no Okay, so you haven't seen the sign. I mean, you've just heard that oh, there's a sign. Oh, I've seen the sign. Okay. Sign is on the road. It's on the road? Yeah. Anybody going to 190 has seen the sign. Oh, do I? have seen all the signs. Anybody going to 190 has seen oh, the sign. Oh, I have seen the sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like does, it look, does it look like it's bigger than what it's supposed to be? I don't know. I, I didn't know that we have approved the sign. No. Okay. So. All right. I'm not very pleased with the sign, but, you know, that's what he wanted. It's a, like a white uh, board. Yeah. I think you know the night. He put it for the night time. Okay. Night Does it say? Night did, okay. 92 so. North, yes. Okay. It says 92 North Main Street. I think so. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to go up there yes. and look. I think so. Yeah. Right, I have to go up there. Is and it look. Night time, you know, if they put the lights, the sign will be. You can see the sign. That's the sign. But the daytime, because of the white background, white to like a plexiglass kind of a thing, uh, the letters are not. You know, yeah, yeah. How, how bright is it? Have you seen it at night? I haven't seen it at night. No. It's, uh, I've seen it. Dusk. Hopefully, it's LED. I, I have no idea. Um, I can just see someone coming to the board for that. Oh, it's complaining about the bright. Yeah. yeah. Mm. How bright is if the neighbors? Yeah, I mean, it's, aesthetically, I don't like the design, but it's not huge. It's you like, said you read, you went back and read it? No, I didn't. Read the, um, the comprehensive permit no. for the sign? No. Okay. He, he, the, the Bentley said he saw it. Yeah. It, I sound, it sounds like it was a while back. No, that I did was. ask the uh, building commissioner to look into it. Okay. But I did not uh, look at that because he has more document than what is in that uh, comprehensive permit. Okay. Yeah, it's very modern. It's not, uh, it's a little jarring like going through a day when you got all these like old properties. Mm. Toby, you have a copy of that that um, binder that um, Dean Harrison had given to us, you know, that had yeah. all the things in there. If you, when you have a chance, can you look in that binder and see if there's, see what it says in there about the sign? I think there was a, there's a tab for the sign. If you could kind of dig that out and uh, scan it and send it to everybody so that they can see, so that we can just kind of, you know, because I'm curious now that, you know, that they changed the name of the, Harina, Toby, instead of going through all the pain, maybe talk to the building inspector. It looks like he looked at it. Okay. So maybe it's so all easy right, to do get that it. then. I think he said it was in the conference. <coughs> right. It is. Okay. But so we'll know. go look in that. Yeah. Okay. You know, right. If you have trouble, you know, talk to the building inspector. Okay. Anybody have anything, future agenda items or ZBA reports? Raj, anything from. So we have no meeting that. Uh, December, so, right? Right, no meeting, yeah. unless, unless there, a permit shows up. Okay. Now, Toby, if we, okay, if we were having a meeting in December, it would be the third Thursday, which would be the 21st, okay? Mm -hmm. If somebody was gonna put in a petition and they wanted to be heard, what would be the latest date that they could get it in? Okay, what, the 21st is that Thursday? Yeah. So it's going to be in the newspaper, the newspaper two, two weeks. weeks before. So the 7th and the 14th. 7th, 14th, and there's no holidays in between there. So uh, they would have to get it to me um, the latest, the Monday of that week. I mean, that's like the, the latest because i got to send it to the newspaper. So really right around December 1st is about, is, pu is close to pushing it. Seven, six, five, fourth of December. Yeah, that would That's be like the latest. There's a weekend in there too. Okay, so. Now you'd rather have it exactly. <laughs> like right, Friday right, okay. before, you know, right, just to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, December yeah. 1st is a Friday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so December 1st, okay. So let's keep an eye on that, mm -hmm. okay? And you'll have to let us know. If nothing shows up, then that's, yeah, it's too late. Then so. it's too late. Then they'll have to, you know, they can submit, but they won't get heard until, until January. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Anything from FISP no. or planning board no. that you want to talk about? Select them? No. Okay. Anybody else? No. 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 
Charlie's enjoying his retirement. <laughs> okay. Anything that we didn't not receive by the board prior? I know that we can't act on anything, but is there anything that we need to maybe talk about that we might have to discuss the next time? So. Yeah, there's no more mail. Okay. All right. There, unless there is a petition, there is no scheduled meeting for December. Our next meeting will be January 18th of 2018. Okay? Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> so before we, before we adjourn, I just want to take this opportunity to wish everyone a, a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. Um, if you're traveling, just be careful. If you're staying home, enjoy yourself. Try not to eat too much. I know that's kind of a hard thing to do, but on Thanksgiving, because it's about the only time of the year that I really enjoy turkey. I couldn't care less about eating it any other time, but Thanksgiving is the best time to eat it. So I just want to make sure that everybody has a, um, you know, a safe and, and happy holiday. Okay, I'll attend, in, if there's nothing, no other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay, hearing a motion, I hear a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.